product of the week. My product of the, of the week this week, I actually uh, have been bummed because these have been out of stock for a while, but they are back, and it is the Trinket M0, uh, one of my favorite little microcontrollers. And the Trinket uh, M0 costs about $9. It's uh, at SAMD21. Uh, chip on there. You can do serial uh, with it. It has a little dot star LED built right on for RGB color indicator. And one of the really cool things about it is that it does USB uh, HID stuff. It can act like a USB MIDI device. Uh, so there's a lot of interesting stuff you can do with a tiny, tiny little board. Um, and my friend and yours, Todd Bot, Todd Kurt, Recently built a little module that's based on the Trinket M0, and I'm going to get go ahead and demonstrate it over here at the workbench. There's a module that's that's uh, new, new in my little cigar box rack here. This is a synthesizer, Eurorack synthesizer, and this is it, the Trinket trigger. And as you can see, it has a trinket built right uh, into the top. It actually sets into some female headers, so you can take that off, program it as usual. And what this does is essentially gives it power from the Eurorack power supply through a voltage regulator. We have a couple of resistors to uh, protect uh, plugging two outputs into each other. And then there's these two outputs, the B and A. B is used for sending a gate pulse, and A is used as a control voltage that can vary. And how do you trigger them, you may ask? Well, these are capacitive touch pads here. The B and A are using two pins in capacitive touch mode. So with this patched into other stuff, I can now tap B here, and you can see it's triggering. And I can tap A, that's triggering uh, two different pulses sending out. There we go. All of that based on a lovely little trinket right there. So that runs a circuit python, pretty simple circuit python uh, script. And of course, that's just one example of the great versatility of a tiny little microcontroller like the Trinket M0 running circuit python. It doesn't have to get all elaborate and euro rack synthesizer-y on you. You can do uh, simpler things than that, but I thought that one was pretty exciting.